It's time today to save our season. Six Bundesliga games to go. We need some wins desperately. Can we do it? Let's find out. So then guys, welcome back to the Red Devil Revival here today for episode 98 of our Road to Glory series. So close to that 100 number. And as I've just said in that intro, we are looking to save our season really in this episode and the forthcoming ones as well. There's six games to go. Champions League qualification is not yet secured. There is the slimmest of chances that we can maybe still win the league. We have to basically win all six games and hope that Bayern only get, I think, two points in their last five matches. It's highly unlikely. Today we're facing Dortmund and Hertha Berlin, two massive games for us and our Champions League qualification hopes. But before we do get into today's video, guys, if you missed last episode where we took on Manchester United in the second leg of our Champions League quarter final, there'll be a link right above me. You might see exactly how we got on on our trip to Old Trafford. And of course, as well, guys, if you do enjoy today's video, make sure to chuck a like down onto it. And if you do want to see any more of my content, such as the Red Devil Revival, then do make sure to hit that subscribe button and to ring that notification bell to be notified when any of my content here on YouTube goes live. Now then, though, let's get straight into this video. Two massive games to play today and two very, very difficult games they are. Hertha Berlin, who sit in fifth position in the Bundesliga, and Borussia Dortmund, who sit in second place as well. It is a massive set of games we have, and they are must-win fixtures. We've played no games since last time out. Of course, guys, if you did miss that United game, go back now because I am going to spoil it. So if you want to go and watch it, go now and before I ruin it for you all. But I'm going to go into it now. If we go into our competitions, you can see the Bundesliga there on the screen. You can see the Champions League, of which we are now out of after, of course, we lost 1-0 in the second leg to United, very sadly. And you can see the German Cup, which we only got to the third round, which, of course, you know, Losing to arch rivals minds, not the best in the world. But even so, our focus is the Bundesliga. You can see the table there on the screen. We sit 15 points behind Bayern Munich with a game in hand. So hopefully we'll become 12. We still have to play Bayern Munich. But it's very, very unlikely that we can catch them. The main issue for us this year is not scoring enough goals. So hopefully going into next season we can sort it out. But we need to save what's left of this season and get some more wins on the board. For the first game, it is Hertha Berlin at home. And this is how we are lining up for it. It is Misic in net, Williams in at right back, Aral and Lawrence at the back with Franco in at left back. It's then Lietzia and Bielik in at DM. Montel is our advanced playmaker for this match. Then it's Fermek and Cosme in behind the striker. Sousa is still not back fit yet. And Chimpatat is up front on his own, of course. He is currently playing on an injection. He's picked up a very, very small knock to his groin. He should be okay and hopefully should be fully fit for the Dortmund game after this as well. But we'll have to wait and see. That's how we're lining up. Let's get into this game. Let's not waste any time. Let's see if we can get ourselves a good result, get a win to start this episode off with. We desperately need one. If we get a win, we go level on points with Dortmund, who, of course, we play in the next match. It's so, so vital. And it also means we gain three points on Hertha Berlin, who are the closest side to us outside of those Champions League places. You can see our recent form, too many draws, the story of this season, really. And we've even lost our most recent game. There is Hertha Berlin's recent form. They've got a very decent side. They've got a very young team as well. Very, very good up-and-coming prospects in that side. And there is the Bundesliga table. Please, boys, please, just for once, give us a nice, calm episode. Get two wins in it. It will be fantastic should it happen. Really disappointingly for us, Frankfurt got a very late winner in their game with RB Leipzig. If they managed to drop points there, then a draw would be enough to get us into third place today. But it's not quite enough. But even so, we'll have to wait and see what does happen. So far, 20 minutes into the game, nothing to talk about. But as I say this, highlight. First one of the match. Fermek on the ball to Nico Williams. Come on, Nico. What are you going to do, mate? Now, Liuzio. Come on, now, Bielik. Back to Liuzio, inside to Lawrence, up the pitch now, Cosme, nice passing play so far, good little bit of passage of play, very nice to see, out to Nico Williams, come on Nico, what are we going to do, are we going to get the ball in the box, come on Nico, into Chimpitaz, of course with that slight knock, Montel, lovely play, 
Oh, it's a good save by Fernandez. Good bit of football from us. Nice early signs, but it's a good stop from the herd to keeper. The corner, anything from this as well? Fermic ball in, and it's been cleared for a throw. So that's probably going to be the end of the highlight, I would imagine. Yeah. There's another highlight. Jamie Lawrence now. It takes a defender to score. It's only his first of the season. He hasn't played that much. He's had a lot of injury problems this year, which is why he's finally returning to Bayern Munich after this season. But he has his first goal of the season, and it could prove to be a big goal for us from that Cosme free kick. Very, very good news. Hopefully, it will mean we get into half-time with the lead. But as I say, this is a Hertha-Bellin free kick. Thiago Almeida puts it in. It's headed clear initially. There's way too much space on that left. Can we please get the ball off this player? Roll for now. Okay, we've done well. So lumps it out of the pitch way too early. I don't know why he played it quite so quickly. But even so, it's not the end of the world. It's been lumped out of the pitch. We should win that indeed. We do. Fermic now. Come on, Matai. What are you going to do? Lovely pass to Chimpitaz. Who scores despite the injection and being injured? He gets a goal after the disappointment we saw of him against Frankfurt and against United in that last episode where he missed so many chances. He finally has a goal today and it puts us 2-0 up. You can see, or you may have spotted in the bottom left when the league table popped up, we are level on points now with Dortmund. We're behind only on goal difference. One goal separates us. And, of course, we play Dortmund in the next game. What is going on, by the way? Oh, we have a free kick. The ball was in the back of the net. I didn't know what happened. Fermek hits it. It's 3-0. Matthias Fermek is dreadful goalkeeping from the herd to keeper. But I do not care. I don't know where this performance has come from. But it's good to see from the lads. We are putting her to Berlin to the sword. Happy days. Very, very nice stuff indeed. Wonderful first half showing from the boys, and we go in with a 3 0 lead. Fantastic stuff. Let's get into the dressing room then. I'm just going to say very, very simply don't get complacent. I think it's a fair thing to say to defenders there's a lot more to come from you. Everyone is looking up for it. Bielik, I'm actually going to sub off because he's coming back from a knock. So I'm going to get Bielik off the pitch for Slamberg. It's a straight swap, nothing too drastic. And let's get into this second half and hopefully see out Hertha Berlin come away with all three points and more importantly give ourselves a massive, massive chance going into that Dortmund game. Another highlight, Fermet corner. It's cleared initially. Come on, lads. Can we get another opportunity in this game? Swamberg now inside the Cosme. Back to Swamberg. Come on, lads. Okay, we're going all the way back, but Lawrence now. Can we build something from the back now? Now out to Swamberg. Keeping the ball quite nice, which is good to see. Considering what we've seen in recent episodes where we struggle for possession, it's nice to see us actually keeping the ball. And as I say that, we've given it away really stupidly. I don't know why the players keep playing such long passes. We've got slightly shorter passing on. I no longer have pass into space on for the boys. So I don't know why they're doing it. But even so, it seems to be working today, so we'll let them off for it. And as I say this, Herta are in behind... And we concede. Mistic loses his clean sheet. Jawara up front there for Hertz Berlin with a goal. Just gets slipped in behind and he has an easy goal really. Takes his opportunity and it's 3-1 now. Now a corner around the far post. Chimpitaz, it hits the bar. It was a very much a half chance but even so, good stuff from the lads. They still managed to create that opportunity there. Is that going to be the end of it? Franco, good sliding tackle. I presume it is going to be the end. Indeed it is. Still very good stuff from us. I think I'm going to make a change. I think I'm going to get Fermek off the pitch. He looks a little bit tired. We'll bring Amiri on. Another straight swap. Nothing too drastic. And we have 20 minutes to play. Hopefully we can just see this game out. I can see Franco having a really poor game. I think I'm going to sub him off as a result. We'll get Jamal Lewis on. We're going to go down to just positive. We're going to lower the tempo slightly. Go slightly time waiting and be more disciplined. I think that's a fair thing to do. Last substitution, 10 minutes to go plus stoppage time. Can we come away with the win? It's looking likely. Two minutes to play. We have the ball. Just see this game out, lads. Don't do things stupid. I say all this. Chimpitaz, it's a lovely ball. It's game over. Chimpitaz makes it for his second of the game, his 32nd of the season. Wonderful, wonderful stuff. I think it's his 26th in the Bundesliga. You only play 34 games. He's almost at a one-for-one one record. He's having a phenomenal season this year. It's a brilliant pass by Jamie Lawrence. And a wonderful goal to seal this game off. We're into stoppage time. We go. We're going to get all three points. Will it be another goal? Amiri with a corner. 
It's being cleared. There is literally only a few seconds to go. Amiri with it still plays it in. It's missed everyone. Chimpitaz, come on for the hat trick. Oh, what a save. Amiri anyway. It goes in. It ricocheted everywhere. you got to feel a bit sorry for the Herta keeper. I don't care. It's 5-1. Wonderful comeback after the disappointment of the last episode. Really good stuff to see. That is game over. That is all three points secured. I don't know what's going on. Why are we looking at her to Berlin player just like flailing around on the floor? I've got no idea what is going on right now. There seems to be a highlight going on in the 96th minute. I don't understand what is quite going on. It's put in. Okay, so her to have scored another goal. It's 5-2. Doesn't matter. It is game over. We're three and a half minutes over the allotted time. Surely that's the end of the match now. Indeed it is. Oh, well. It's done and dusted. Well done, boys. Good win. Fantastic performance. Annoying that we conceded two goals, but we've scored five. We haven't scored enough in recent fixtures. We did it today. Really, really good stuff. And that is massive for us. Course, still one game to go. It's Borussia Dortmund. So I'll see you for that game, guys, very shortly. Here we go then, guys. Game number two. Huge fixture for us. Borussia Dortmund is finally happening off. We got rescheduled like 15 times over the course of the season. This is how we're lining up. Misic in there. Williams in at right back. Arau and Lauren still at the back together. They had a really good game against Hertha. It's only fair to play them. Lewis in at left back. Lucio and Svanberg starting DM. Montel still has that advanced playmaker. Fermek and Cogme in behind the striker. And then it's Pellegri up front. The reason why is, unfortunately, I couldn't give Chimtaz another injection. He's not quite fit to start, if you ask me. It doesn't recommend doing so. I don't want to start him. He then gets a big injury and then we lose him for the rest of the season. At least if I rest him, we can have him back for the remaining four games of this season. So we're going to start with Pellegri. Maybe bring him on at half time if required that's how we're lining up let's get into this game let's see how we do get on come on boys let's get a good result here against Dortmund huge huge fixture it is second versus third in the Bundesliga point a finger fully expected to go out there and keep our run going say to rest might have faith in them okay they're all looking up for it other than Jamal Lewis here we go then boys one thing I will just know by the way guys for the first time I think ever in football manager I have had a player in the game come out as gay Aral our central defender I literally only yesterday or the day before in game got the uh, the message that you get in the news articles coming up saying that he's come out as gay and I thought that's fascinating I've never had it before in football manager and so I've always seen it on Twitter and stuff when people get it but yeah it's happened for one of our players so Aral has a uh, has come out in the game which is quite fascinating I've never had it but as I'm saying all this Dortmund have the ball and hopefully we don't see them having a chance but Kornelenko with it down his left flank come on don't let him cross it they do it's blocked phenomenally I think it's Jamal Lewis gets the block in indeed it was Lawrence lost his man and Lewis just came out of nowhere at the far post and managed to cover that Aral heads the corner clear which is good to see and hopefully that'll be the end of the Dortmund chance. Fermek, very good sliding tackle. And we do get the ball out of play. It's worth noting as well today, guys. Should this game finish in a draw, Bayern Munich are crowned as champions. They won their game earlier in the weekend. I think they played Schalke. And so it does mean a draw today will confirm them as Bundesliga champions. Whoever out of us wins, if it does finish as a win, will have to win every remaining game for the season. And Bayern will have to lose all of their remaining five games in order for them not to win the title. It's very, very much not going to happen. But we'll still keep our fingers crossed and we'll see what happens here. Cosme on the ball at the moment. Come on, Cosme. What are you going to do with it, son? He's going all the well on his left flank. He's gone down. That looked like a slightly dodgy tackle from Misalef, I think it is, or Mikalef. I'm not too sure. And the ref is giving it, it would appear. It's going to go to VAR because, of course, it will. It always does go to VAR. They're checking it. Are they going to give the pen? They are. And who's going to step up? Will it be Pellegri? He is. He's finally on the pitch. He hasn't scored all season. He is our best penalty taker in the side. Can he put it in the back of the net? Massive chance for him. He does. He finally breaks his duck. He's gone the entire season without scoring, has Pietro Pellegri. He finally scores. It is from the penalty spot, but I do not care. I'm quite pleased now that he did start because, as I say, he's our best taker by some margin. And at the moment, you'll see the table update puts on 59 points. We will be going eight points clear of Hertha Berlin and 12 points behind 
Bayern Munich currently. Very, very good stuff. This, of course, is our game in hand that we've had for so long. Fermek puts it in. Aral heads over the bar. Unlucky there from Gokman. Not a bad little effort. Can we get in at half time? 1-0 up. It would be fantastic if we can do. Into that final minute stoppage time, we are leading at half time at the Fritz Volta Stadion. This is huge for us. It really is. I'm going to point the finger. Don't get complacent. They all mainly agree. Just say to Lietzio and to Jamal Lewis, a lot will come from them. Lewis just doesn't seem to ever care. I don't understand why. But this is huge for us. To be eight points clear with only four to go is very, very good news. It most definitely is. Our next game is Augsburg, which is definitely an easier opponent, albeit we are away from home. And it looks like, at the moment, Dortmund are playing a 4-1-2-1-2 with Neto. Pedro Neto playing as a Trekkortista up front. I don't think I've ever seen a team play a Trekkortista in a narrow diamond formation. But, alas, they are doing it currently. We're going to make some substitutions. I'm going to... Bring Fermek off for Amiri, the same substitution we did in the last game. And also Swanberg can now come off. I'm going to bring him off for Embom. He's coming back from injury. We're just going to bring him on for 15 minutes here. Give him some much needed minutes as he's returning from an injury. And as soon as I've made those changes, there's a highlight instantly with Dortmund on the ball. How much we want to bet they're going to score because I've made changes. I'm pretty much certain this is going to be a Dortmund goal. Silver here, McAuliffe. It's an overlapping run from Chu. Oh, we got the ball back, actually. Okay, Misic lumps it up the pitch. No one is there. I don't know what he was doing playing it on the flanks. We don't have any wingers. No idea. Kornilenko, great challenge, Liuzio. Come on, boys. Can we get a second? Settle those nerves in this game. Lovely play to get out from the back here. Nico Williams down this right flank. Come on, Nico. He's lost it. He's got it back, actually. Amiri Williams again. He whips it in. Pellegrini, maybe a chance for a second. It's Pietro Pellegrini. He's done nothing all season. And finally, the former hero of Kaiserslautern has shown up once more. It's taken him so, so long to do it. Can we just give props as well to Nico Williams? What a wonderful pass that is. Beautiful ball. Wonderful strike as well from Pellegrini. 2-0 up. We are loving life, and it's looking likely we're going to get back in the Champions League for another season, which is really good news. Just going to make the final change. Cosme off for Edward as that shadow striker. Only five minutes to go. We're just going to go down to balance. There's a bloody highlight. We're going to go full on time wasting and be more disciplined and lower the tempo too. Two minutes plus stoppage time. They need two goals in order to screw us up. Pellegrini, nice play so far. Edward back out to Lewis here on this overlapping left hand side. Pellegrini. He had a chance for a hat-trick. It was blocked. We still had the ball, though. But Amiri Edward, what a save by Nubel in net for Dortmund. Really good stop. But even so, I don't care because we can waste some time now and try and seal this game out. Wonderful stuff from us. I'm just going to say focus to the lads. Make sure so they don't drop their levels oh, around nearly scores from the corner as well. Are we going to see any more goals, any more action in this game? We go into stoppage time. Four minutes added on. And we are coming away with two wins from today's episode and a brace for Pietro Pellegrini. He's gone almost 12 months, I think, without scoring a goal in all competitions. And he finally got one today. Wonderful stuff. Outstretched arms. Good win, boys. Well done. And when we needed the wins most, we have turned up and hopefully saved our season. We go up into second place with 12 behind Bayern. That ain't going to get caught, but the main thing is we have extended our lead over the other teams challenging for the Champions League places. Fantastic stuff. Still, though, guys, let's take a look at the show. What we can back for the next episode. It will, of course, be the very next matches in this season. Augsburg and Schalke, they're going to do both matches. I think should we win both of these, we will be guaranteed top four and as a result champions league qualification so next episode guys will be augsburg away and schalke at home overall though guys that brings this video today to a close two fantastic performances a clean sheet against dortmund a 2-0 win brilliant stuff and five goals scored against a very very difficult Hertha berlin side where have those performances been in recent episodes and recent weeks in game Hopefully we can continue this form on, have a really good end of the season and then take it through into next season and push on to try and win the Bundesliga, the German Cup once more. But we have to get through this season first. 
and get the job over the line. Hopefully, guys, you have enjoyed today's video. If you have done, make sure to chuck a like down onto it. And if you do want to see any more of my content, such as the Red Devil Vile, then do make sure to hit that subscribe button and to ring that notification bell to be notified when any of my content here on YouTube goes live. But guys, thank you very much for watching, and I will see you again next time.